Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, finally filming a video where you can actually see my face instead of just uh, me talking and having the images behind the camera. Um, anyways, today I'm doing my May book haul, so I'm pretty excited to show y'all what I got. Um, sorry if I look all grungy. I'm actually getting ready for work right now. And the UPS guy just came with my Barnes & Noble package. And um, I was waiting for those books to come in so I could do my May book haul. Um, since it's almost June. And I'm so excited because my husband and I's anniversary is coming up June 11th. It'll be our one year wedding anniversary. So I'm so excited we're going to be going on a little trip. So um, yeah. But let me go ahead and show you what I got. I got stuff from Barnes & Noble and Half Price Books. They were doing a Memorial Day sale where everything was 20% off. So I took advantage of their sale, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out where to look. I'm filming on my iPad, so, um, yeah, I think the camera's, like, over here, and I'm over here, so, yeah. Okay, anyways, I'll show you what I got. The first book is by Sarah Pekanen. It's called Skipping a Beat, and this is what the book looks like. Uh, basically, uh, there's a blurb on the back that it just really caught my attention. It says, what would you do if your husband suddenly wanted to rewrite the rules of your relationship? So that really intrigued me, and it was on clearance for a dollar, and then I got it for like 80 cents because it was 20% off. Um, so yeah, I was really interested in this before, and they had it for like 7 dollars but I never picked it up, and now I did, and I'm so excited to have it, and yeah. A couple of other dollar books I got. This is by Sarah Strohmeyer, Stroh and it's called The Cinderella Pact. It looks like that. Um, let's see. It says, when magazine editor Nola Devlin is turned down from her dream for her dream job as an advice column columnist, I can't talk today, because she's overweight, she decides to become thin, or at least pretend to be. Belinda Apple, the alter ego she creates, thin, British, hip, and did we mention thin, is a smashing success who has offered mo movie proposals, national television appearances, and even dates. Of course, no one's actually met her in person. Unfortunately, Nola takes Belinda a bit too far, jotting off a column about how easy it is to lose weight a column her friends take seriously. Trapped by her own words, Nola is forced to join the Cinderella Pact and drop the pounds. As the weight comes off, however, Nola's problems begin to mount. Her magazine launches an investigation to Belinda Apple's true identity. Her friends race ahead of her in the weight loss game, and her younger sister chooses Belinda as her maid of honor. Plus, there's this mysterious hunk who might be Nola's prince, or a rat in coachman's clothing. Will this every girl from New Jersey finally find a glass slipper that fits, or do glass slippers shatter on the feet of a real woman like us? So I thought that sounded really awesome, so pick that up. The next book is called Goodbye Jimmy Choo by Annie Sanders, looks like that. It says, self-confessed bohemian Izzy Stock prefers cargo pants to Donna Karen and has never seen a coffee shop she didn't like. Private school and privileged Maddie Hoare, Hoare, or <laughs> can name the best boutiques in Paris and is convinced proper English civilization ends at the London city limits. These two women can, couldn't seem more different until forced to move to the English countryside for their respective husbands' careers. They meet at a luncheon with the local Stepford, Stepford Wives contingent and immediately recognize their shared longing for the city streets they left behind. In this bizarro world of parish fairs and cow crossings, Izzy and Maddie may just be each other's last hope. But a tragedy is brewing, and together with a secret stash of French beauty secrets, some foul-smelling weeds, and a lot of excellent wine, the bonds of this unique friendship are about to turn the world they got stuck with into one they wouldn't trade for anything. So, yeah. There's that. And if you hear a bunch of bumping, I have really loud neighbors. And they're driving me insane. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, I have We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. This is the third book in the summer series. Um, picked this up at Half Price Books. Still need to read the first two. This next book is book two. Um, this is Devoted by Hilary Duff, and it's the second book in, I forget what the series name is, but her first book is Elixir. Still need to read the first book, but this is book number two. Got that. I picked up Sweet Venom by Tara Lynn Childs. Um, I don't think this is a series, or if it is, it's the beginning of the series, so I can read this one to you. Um, I didn't want to read the other ones because, like I said, they're second and third parts in a series, so I don't want to give anything away. It says, let's see. Grace just moved to San Francisco and is excited to start over at a new school. The change is full of fresh possibilities, but it's also a tiny bit scary. It gets scarier when a minotaur walks into the door. And even more shocking when a girl who looks just like her shows up to fight the monster. 
Gretchen is a tired is tired of monsters pulling her out into the wee hours, especially on a school night. But what can she do? Sending the Minotaur back to his bleak home is just another notch on her com combat belt. But she never expected to run into this girl who couldn't who could be her double though. Greer has her life pretty well put together. Thank you very much. But that all tilts sideways when two girls who look eerily like her appear on her doorstep and claim their triplets, supernatural descendants of some hideous creature from Greek myth, just destined to spend their lives hunting monsters. These three teenage descendants of Medusa, the once beautiful Gorgon uh, in myth, must reunite and embrace their fates in this unique paranormal world where monsters lurk in plain sight. Um, that just sounded awesome to me, and the cover is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So, triplet descendants of Medusa... Yeah, that sounds awesome. The next book I got in Half Price Books, and I'm so excited that I got it there, because it's um, a new release by Sophie Kinsella. It's I've Got Your Number. Um, this just came out, so, I mean, this book is 26 bucks, and I got it at Half Price Books for $12.99, and then 20% off, so I was so excited to get it, and it's hardback, so. Um, I'll read this back to you. It's not part of a series. Um, okay. I've lost it. The only thing in the world I wasn't supposed to lose. My engagement ring. It's been in Magnus's family for three generations. And now this very same day his parents are coming, I've lost it. The very same day. Do not hyperventilate, Poppy. Stay positive. Poppy White has never felt luckier. She's about to marry her ideal man, Magnus Tavish. But in one afternoon, her happily ever after begins to fall apart. Not only has she lost her engagement ring in a hotel fire drill, but in the panic that follows, her phone is stolen. As she, she paces shakily around the lobby, she spots an abandoned phone in a trash can. Finders keepers? Now she can leave a number for the hotel to contact her when they find her ring. Perfect. Well, perfect except, except the phone's owner, businessman Sam Roxon, doesn't agree. He wants his phone back and doesn't appreciate Poppy reading his messages and wading into his personal life. What ensues is a hilarious and unpredictable turn of events as Poppy and Sam increasingly upend each other's lives through emails and text messages as Poppy juggles wedding preparations, mysterious phone calls, and hiding her left hand from Magnus and his parents, she soon realizes that she is in for the big, biggest surprise of her life. So, yeah, that sounded pretty awesome. Okay, then I got books two and three from the Maze Runner series. The book two is The Scorch Trials by James Dashner, and book three is The Death Cure, also by James Dashner. So, yeah, and I have book one. I still need to read it. I have a lot of books I need to read. I'm working on so many right now. Um, this next book is the second book in Veronica Roth's uh, Divergent series. This is Insurgent. Again, still need to read that book, but I went ahead and picked up um, Insurgent. Then I have book two by Snooky. This is Gorilla Beach. Her first book is It's a Shore Thing, and this is book two, Gorilla Beach. So... I was at Barnes and Noble and I saw that it gotten released and this book is $25 and it had a 20% off sticker and I'm a Barnes and Noble member so it would have been 10% off of that but I was like 30% didn't really save me that much so I looked online and this book was $15 regular 25 it was $15 online and then I had a 20% off coupon from there so I got it for 10 bucks so yeah if there's a lot of new release books that you guys want, check out Barnes & Noble's website because they're usually significantly cheaper and you can get like all the books you want or that you would want for a lot less than you pay in the store. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. I guess this is um, before Baby, <laughs> Baby Bump. But I actually like this picture. It looks like the Copper Tone, I think it's Copper Tone sunscreen. Um, but yeah, so... And the last three books I got, I'm so excited. I've already read the first book on my Nook and my iPad. Um, I have the Nook app on my iPad so I can read them duly. Um, but I went ahead and picked up the whole series. And it is the Fifty Shades of Grey series. Um, well, I don't know if that's the series name. But anyways, book one, two, and three. So your first book is Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. The second book is Fifty Shades Darker. And the third book is Fifty Shades Freed. Um, these books retail for $15.95 in the store, and I got them for $10.95 online. So I saved 15 bucks. So got the whole trilogy. I've only read book one. Um, I read it, like I said, on my nook, and I I was, like, captivated. I was wondering why everyone kept talking about this book. It was a New York Times bestseller. I'm like, what is with this book that everyone is so intrigued by it and so captivated with it? And I finally just bought it on my nook, and I just could not put it down and I read the first book and I decided 
to have to own the whole trilogy because I mean when I really like a series I'll own the tr the series. So I need to read books two and three, um, but I cannot wait to read it. Um, if you've been living under a rock for the past few months and don't know about this book, I'll read you the back. These are erotic romance. These are totally books that I'm not really interested in, but I mean it's a really good book. Um, so I'll read you the, the synopsis on the first book. It says, um, When literature student Anastasia Steele goes to interview young entrepreneur Christian Grey, she encounters a man who is beautiful, brilliant, and intimidating. The unworldly, innocent Anna is startled to realize she wants this man, and despite his enigmatic reserve, finds she is desperate to get close to him. Unable to resist Anna's quiet beauty, quiet beauty, wit, and independent spirit, Grey admits he wants her too, but on his own terms. Shocked yet thrilled by Gray's singular erotic taste, Anna hesitates. For all the trappings of success, his multinational businesses, his vast wealth, his loving family, Gray is a man tormented by demons and consumed by the need to control. When the couple embarks on a daring, passionately physical affair, Anna discovers Christian Gray's secrets and explores her own dark desires. It says, Exotic, amusing, and deeply moving, the Fifty Shades trilogy is a tale that will obsess you, possess you, and stay with you forever. And it's true, like, I just got this in the mail, and I'm like, oh, I already want to read books two and three. Um, that is it for my May book haul. Right now, I'm reading Catching Fire on My Nook, um, because I still need to finish this, and I'm on chapter 13. I don't think I'm able to see that, but I'm on chapter 13 of Catching Fire, um, which is the second book in the Hunger Games series. And I'm also currently reading the seventh or eighth book in the House of Night series, so, like, I'm reading so many books back to back. Um, yeah, because I really want to finish House of Night and I really want to finish The Hunger Games. Um, and yeah, but I have so much other stuff I want to read. So let me know in the comments below what you've been reading lately, what you would recommend for me to pick up. Um, yeah, and any questions, comments, or concerns you have, please leave them in the comments below. And thank y'all so much for watching my May book haul, and I hope y'all have enjoyed this. Um, I'll see y'all later. Thanks again. Bye.